What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to yet another episode of the Let's Play. Today it's episode 86, I have a few cool things planned and I am very, very excited for it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy and as always, thank you for stopping by. So if you remember last episode, I fell into lava and died and lost all my stuff. So what we'll be doing today to start off the episode is making some new gear with all the diamonds that I've accumulated over 86 episodes of playing this map. So I've got plenty of diamonds, no need to worry about it. I just can't I just can't lose it all again. I'm definitely not going to another for a while. Now let's go ahead and make our set of armor here, diamond boots. We need a diamond chest plate we also need a diamond helmet and we're going to need some diamond leggings as well I also have a few more things planned I guess I'll just read off for the to-do list now so uh, the first thing is obviously make new tools and armor uh, the second thing is going to be make an auto cooker with redstone which I'm super excited about and of course I will also be visiting the subscriber palace today so uh, oh I can't put that back just yet I need to make some tools so three for the pick Three for the axe, two for a sword, and one for a shovel. I think that's all I need. Let's go grab some spoons. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I really did just mean to stay, say sticks, and I said spoons. Not too sure why, but we've got one diamond sword, one diamond shovel, one diamond pick, and one diamond axe already. Awesome. So let's go ahead, gather our new belongings, put them up into our hot bar, and I think that just about does it now obviously I want to go around and enchant some of this stuff but I only have two levels right now so we'll have to wait just a minute to do that but there we go all the new tools I need for now on second thought let me grab a stack of arrows and three string and I'll, and I'll make myself a bow I don't have one of those I usually don't even use them but I guess I'll have one why not we, it's fun to use a bow so we'll make one of those and we shall call it a day now with the crafting so that's that I've got a stack of arrows a bow, all the tools I need, and uh, some food as well. So, I guess it's time to continue with the redstone build of today, which is going to be an auto cooker. Now, let's show you guys really quick the progress I've got done on the auto chicken egg farm. Yeah, it's not really a chicken farm, it's really just an egg farm. But before I do that, I ought to add the new subscriber to the subscriber palace. So let me go ahead and do that. The user is Izan Khan, and he said, we love your viz, Jack. Keep up the good work and maybe add some more redstone creations in your world. So that is what I will be doing today. So there we go. He's been added. Now, I'll usually add more than one person, but I just found that one and I went with it. So you guys leave your nice comments, either suggest builds or just let me know how you're feeling. Just just comment, and then I'll pick a few random ones, the ones that touch me the deepest, and I will add them to the subscriber palace in the next episode. But for now, let me show you guys what I've done to this here hallway. So I've added a little bit of a uh, of a climb to this whole thing. So we've got a nice uh, walkway that goes up to the brand new chicken farm. And I've had a few more chicken babies. I think we've got six or seven in there now, which is pretty cool. And I think they're just laying eggs. Yeah, I've got four. 14 eggs, which is pretty nice. So this is an egg farm, right? They just lay the eggs, the eggs go into the hopper, the eggs go into the chest, but it's just eggs. So I won't be getting chicken, cooked chicken, I won't be getting anything else but eggs. So it's good for, I guess, baking cakes and other things like that, but it's not really what I need if I want to stop being hungry all the time. So in today's video, I want to make something similar to that involving chickens, but this one will actually just cook them up. It's so it's the whole, it's the whole process. It'll be cook them and it, 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 it's gonna be fabulous it's gonna be wonderful so let me carve out an area and get this thing going oh, okay that was a lot of digging but I've got this nice area cut out now I want to make this interesting I don't just want to make it a pot uh, like a, a little pot in the in the hole and what what am I jeez I don't want to make this uh, just a hole in the ground. I want to make it an interesting restaurant kind of feel. So I want to have some bar stools over here, a place where you can order, and then back here I'll have the actual uh, chicken cooker. So it'll be pretty cool. I don't know how I want to exactly make this place look, but for now I'm going to take it down once or twice more and then call it a day from there. So there we go. A nice big old area for the restaurant. Now it's not going to look this open once it's done, but I need this 
space to at least work on some of this redstone. So let me go back and, uh, and, and grab some of the stuff I'm gonna need, like redstone, uh, repeaters, I'm gonna need a few hoppers. It's gonna be pretty cool. I also wanna show you guys really quick, back over by the blacksmith, I wanna show you guys uh, what's going on over there. I've got an auto cooker over here. I don't know how many people know about it, but I do have one already, so I thought I'd show you guys. It's a little bit different though, because this one requires me to have raw chicken already. So I have a system here where I can put raw chicken, um, which is up in this side. It's just, it's, don't mind the coal. And then coal in this side, uh, this chest, and then back there, there are a few hoppers and furnaces that eventually spit the results out down to this chest. And yes, I do have a little bit of food in here already. Perfect. So I'll grab some of this stuff. Now I'll go back into the layer under the church and find some of the stuff that I'm going to be needing in the storage room. So let's head back to the redstone chest and see what's up. Now I think personally, I'm just going to be grabbing a lot of stuff because on it, I don't know how to build this. I, I, I could build one on my own, but I think it makes sense to look one up on YouTube because think about it, right? I, I could look it up myself or try to build one myself, but why wouldn't I just use a YouTube video? Because honestly, it's going to be more efficient. And it's going to be better than mine. So may as well do it, right? <laughs> so I'll grab a few repeaters, a few levers. What are these? Dispensers? Probably going to need a few of those. <laughs> maybe some redstone blocks. Maybe take a few of these and and then uh, maybe a few comparators, maybe a few redstone torches, and then a lot of redstone dust. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna need, so I'll just bring it all. I know, however, I'm gonna need quartz for the outside and a little bit of glass so I can see the chickens. I'll also need to go grab some eggs from the farm I just made, but it's gonna be convenient because I've already, oh. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I've already made the, the egg farm, so I'll be able to go grab some eggs right off the bat. Okay, so to start this build, you're going to need a specific space. Now, if you're doing this above ground, this won't be a problem, but I decided to build it underground. So I need to carve out a area that is three wide. I have this extra so I can walk along. Three wide, five tall, and six deep. So that's kind of the area we'll be working in. Let's go ahead and start off the build with some awesome play. Oh, gee, I thought this was quartz. I'll be right back. <laughs> There we go, perfect. So I've got a few more blocks to make. We may as well just use all of the quartz uh, shards and just put them into full blocks. There we go. So 64 blocks of quartz do the chick. Now, let's place these down and get this going. So we're gonna need an area just like this. Now leave a few of these spots open for some hoppers. I'll grab a few and I'll show you guys where to put them. Lovely, okay, so now let's get started with the build. I'll be following along with Green Guitar Guy Game on YouTube, so if you want to look for the full detailed video, you can check it out there. But basically, what you're going to need to do first is attach two hoppers to the chest. Now, make sure the hoppers are both facing that way. Then, what you're going to do is grab a few repeaters and place them around. First one goes right there, facing the back wall. Then, what you're going to need is a quick little lever. We'll grab one here and place in the front so that it has the ability to power that repeater. We can check that out. There it goes. Awesome. So, that's that. Now, what we're going to need is a dispenser placed on top of the first hopper, and make sure it's facing over the second hopper to the chest. Once that's done, grab a few different things. We're going to need a comparator now. The comparator is going to be uh, facing this direction, so the two sticks will be facing the dispenser. You're going to want to turn it on. Oh, jeez, my bad. Turn that on. Get rid of this one. Then, we're going to place a repeater facing this back wall, and then loop redstone around to this side, and make sure that that completes the circuit and connects back over to the comparator. Then what we're going to need to do is take some quartz and bring the redstone up to the next level. The easiest way to do that is set up this circuit here with another repeater and then bring the redstone around. Now instead of using redstone dust here, you're going to make sure that this is a repeater so that the signal does not go back to the comparator. And that was a lot of information, but that's pretty much the first part. Next up, we're going to need to put a slab right in front of this dispenser, so do it just like that. Then what you can do is place two more dispensers, each facing inwards just like that. Okay, so before I move on, let me explain what's going on here. So pretty much what's going to happen is the eggs are going to end up in this dispenser. Don't ask why, we'll get to that later. But a chicken in here is going to lay an egg and it'll get into this dispenser. Once that happens, this subtract 
vector mode comparator, it's very confusing, will send a pulse through here. The pulse will go back around to the comparator, but it will also go over this repeater which powers this block and in turn will shoot the egg that just uh, started the whole circuit out into this slab. What happens here is the slab is where the little baby chicken will sit, and it's just tall enough to not be touched by the lava and water, which will, uh, which will have switches to dispense out of these two dispensers. So that is what happens. Then once the little chicken grows up to be big, it'll get hit by lava or water, suffocate or get burned to death. Its drops will fall into the hopper underneath the slab, because it can fall through the slab, and then out into the chest. That's what we've got going so far. Hard to explain, but we'll see the next steps, and then hopefully you guys can follow along. Okay, so the next big step is pretty simple here. We're just gonna have to place a few hoppers and then a few building blocks. So grab the hoppers, and then place the first one on top of this dispenser that's going to shoot out onto the half slab. Then bring the other ones uh, back too, so you're gonna need to do like that, and then one like that. Make sure they're all connected together. Then what you can do is bring around the building block that you've been using, using and wrap it around these awesome hoppers. After that, we can just bring the whole entire build up one level with whatever block you're using. Now don't use wood because there's lava involved, so use something that can't uh, melt. That That is definitely a huge tip. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, what you're gonna want to do is snag a few pieces of carpet. Bring them up to the tippity tip top of your build. You can go ahead and break here what you've got there, and then place them on top of the three hoppers. That should do the trick. The chickens will stand on the carpet. It'll just help out a bit. It's supposed to make them not glitch through as much, so there we go. Then you can round off the top and close it off for the most part. I'll leave mine open so I can get the chickens in there, but you get the gist. Then to make sure the chickens cannot escape. Place a glass block right above the dispenser so they're pretty much trapped in there. Now all of that is pretty much done so I believe we can cap this off and call it a day upstairs. So that is that for the upstairs part. Now obviously I'll need to throw some chickens in there but you get the gist. Now what we can do is we can add buttons right here. Now these buttons will power these dispensers. In this dispenser I'm gonna put lava and in this dispenser I'm gonna put water. So that way I can have the chicken either come out cooked or raw, and that's something that I'm, that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be huge, but I will have to wait because I need to go get a bucket of either of those two things. I don't think I have water or lava. So we'll have to work on that, but we may as well just get this over with and, uh, and so I'll run over and just grab it myself. Be right back. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Yup, I knew there was lava down here. I absolutely knew it. Right under the chest room. I never remember, remember guys, it scared me like a lot that one time. Well, there we go. I found some lava, and I also have a bucket of water. That was way easier than I thought it would be. So let's run back over to the area where this awesome thingy will be made and place each bucket. Oh. Let me grab some signs first. Well, I can just make them. Hold on. Okay, so the water bucket goes in the right dispenser and the lava bucket goes in the left dispenser. Obviously, it doesn't matter for you, but if you're making this, you definitely want to make sure you label it right. So lava, we need to label this one cooked chicken. There we go. There we go. And this one needs to be labeled raw. And now I don't know why it's not showing up when I type it. I think it might be a bug, but there we are. So now we can finish off by putting three glass pieces in the front. And all we need now is a lovely chicken population. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. Hopefully this all works. Okay, let's see. First egg, no cigar. Few more eggs, not gonna work. A few more eggs. Oh, we've got one. We've got one. That's major. We've got one. Don't, oh, I don't wanna hit it. Please get out of the way. Please do. Okay, he's trying to jump out. I see him, I see him, I see him. He's trying to jump, he's trying to escape. He's not going to. Oh, is that two? We've got two, three. Okay, three. Okay, three maybe? Can't even tell, can't even tell at this point. We're gonna need a lot more though. But there we go. So, uh. Yeah, and we've got more eggs in here, lovely. So these chickens are definitely getting the job done for me. I'll be able to get eggs from this farm and then bring the eggs down and add more chickens into the chicken farm so I can get more cooked food. I love it, I love it, I love it. So what I really quickly wanna do is throw all of these out. No, you did not. Mr. Chicken, please get back down there. Please get back down there. No, you too. Not you two, please, bo both of you. Both of you, behave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Pre no, get back in there. 
Let me make sure these two chickens get back down there. There we go. So we'll block that off. Oh, oh, first thing, let me show you guys what actually happens when an egg drops. So check it out. I throw this egg in. It should go through the whole process kind of like the chickens laid it. And let's see what happens. So it should spawn hope well, okay well no that would have been a miracle um yeah, so what would happen let me just explain it because that that's that has, it's, that would be way too hard to show but anyways let me show you guys so basically what goes down is the chickens up there lay eggs they all the eggs fall into this uh oh let me turn it on there we go so all the eggs oh well i guess you can't see it so hold on the eggs <laughs> fall into this comparator then that comparator causes an egg to shoot out onto this half slab. Then the baby chicken stands right there, and as, as the second the baby chicken grows up, its head gets into the lava, it dies, it gets cooked, and then the cooked food falls into the chest and I can easily grab it. Now, that's a lot of stuff said. Let's see if I can actually get this thing to work. Well, yeah, I just wasted all my eggs. So we'll have to try this out in the next episode. What I'll do is I'll just get a ton, and I mean a ton of eggs from up here uh, once they start Start laying once again and then what I'll do is I'll just drop them all and then hopefully at least a few crack open in the dispenser down there but yeah that's pretty much it so we have completed the build now what I'll do is I'll block this off and now I need your guys's help so those of you that follow along with this series please do help me out give me suggestions on how to make this into a nice restaurant I'd really like it if it had some bar stools over here I don't know I don't know you guys Use your imagination. I'll look through Twitter. Hopefully you guys can send me some awesome ideas and we can work on this in the next episode. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.